Oh, dang, look at that. <laughs> this is the uh, new camera everyone's been talking about, the Pixis, which is really sweet to see. Um, this thing looks amazing, not gonna lie. This is kind of wild that they're coming out with something like this at this price point. Um, I gotta say at first glance, this feels very different than uh, the pocket line. This build quality on here is super nice. So over here we got the little four inch screen. These are kind of a soft touch buttons on these. Um, same with the record button, they're not clicky like the Urso ones, which is it's nice. Uh, let's see here. I think this is a high bright, so it's, you know, it seems pretty bright. So this is pretty interesting. I think one thing it'll be cool to see is this mount. I'd be very surprised to see if it doesn't come undone. Um, it looks like something that people could start making adapters for in terms of uh, ND filter, rear filtration, really. Um, there you go. Back here, we have the two CF Express slots. This is kind of interesting. Uh, it's just like a, kind of similar to their pockets where it's just like a rubber type cover here. Um, kind of feels a little awkward, honestly. It would've been cool to see a little uh, spring action one, but uh, they both are kind of connected there. Um, we have the Ethernet, we have the time code, uh, BNC connector, the SDI, the USB-C. It is worth noting too, it looks like they have a locking connector on that USB-C too, which is really sweet to see. Um, that is the same as this front with the locking USB-C. Uh, they also have the sensor mark, which is really cool. That's kind of something that they added with the 6K full frame uh, cinema camera, but they didn't have on the pockets. Uh, so nice to see that they have that. Uh, this base plate, this is just looks like the kind of plain one, but obviously they have the different ones. Again, I can't uh, state how much this body, the, uh, I think it's like an aluminum magnesium body. That is really sweet. Wow. The viewfinder on this is real nice too, I gotta say. Um, looks really good. Really impressed with it. Jog wheel is simple, but it feels nice. You got obviously all of your buttons here. Um, yeah, this is about it. This, uh, this top plate too, this top handle actually feels pretty nice. I like how flush it is with this, and then you have the carbon fiber. Uh, 15 millimeter rails here, so you can move that forward and backwards. Uh, this is adjustable here too. This piece is with the EBF, and it's just a single knob. There's not one on the other side. So, I'll turn it here. So there isn't one over here. It's just one locking knob on the uh, this piece to move it forward and backwards. And also, I don't know if I love this, but this top one's actually a 19 millimeter rail. Um, would have been nice to just have it 15 millimeter throughout, but. There you go. Pretty sweet. All right, guys, we just got to look at the new Blackmagic Pixis camera here at the Blackmagic booth. It is, uh, as you can see, it's crazy. It got flooded this morning right away. People clearly wanted to check this camera out. Um, right away, I gotta say, this camera, it's kind of mind-blowing that it's coming in at $3,000 because the build quality and the overall feel of this camera make it feel like a $5,000 plus dollar camera. Now, uh, right out of the gate, there was a couple things we took a look at. Obviously, the screen looks great. The build quality looks great. The buttons feel really good. They're kind of a soft touch buttons. Um, I'm trying to think what else. The screen is a high brightness screen. You actually have locking USB-C on the front and the back. The back is purely for uh, data, so SSDs and stuff. I did ask about the front one with the viewfinder. They did mention that it's obviously a display port. I asked someone also about the functionality of doing a, another display that would have control of the menu system, and they said that there is that functionality. Obviously, there's not that functionality with the video assist. Now, I did ask someone if that could be done with the video assist. They weren't uh, really answering the question very well. They didn't seem like it was possible with the video assist, um, but I think there's the possibility for another 
monitor, a, a, an actual screen that could come out later on. So I think that would be really cool to see, and I think there's definitely potential for that, especially because it's integrated into the, uh, the new Ursa 12K. The top handle EVF function, that whole system on the top, the top handle EVF, uh, really cool looking, feels really solid. Uh, it uses 15 millimeter rods, and then the cross one's actually a 19 millimeter rod, but overall feels really good, uh, looks really great. Um, again, I think the biggest surprise for me is just overall the build quality of this camera. It seems uh, a little unique for Blackmagic in the budget realm. This thing, it, it honestly feels better than the Ursa G2s and the Ursa 12Ks, uh, the original ones, uh, which I think is really great. There's a lot of mounting points, so this is a sweet camera. We're excited to get more time with it. Uh, we decided to step away from it because the area surrounding that, those cameras right now is crazy slammed. Uh, it's kind of hard to even get room to move and talk. So there you go. That's our thoughts on it. Honestly, this is going to be a really cool camera. I think it's going to be really sweet to see. Oh, and one last thing. One other thing is the uh, mount. I took a closer look at that. I would be super surprised if that is not a removable mount. Um, those four screws, I think, definitely are going to be able to be removed. And if Blackmagic doesn't make a mount with integrated rear filtration, I'd be really surprised if there's not another company that steps in and makes it like a, a Tilta or there's breakthrough filters. I think that that functionality to completely remove it and swap it out is gonna be huge and allow for a ton of flexibility because it allows you to get even closer to the sensor. So I think that's really exciting to see, um, but we'll have to wait and see on that. So there you go, that's what we got.